Are you also directing part of the season finale? I'm not going to because um, there's too many things to do. You know, uh, I had to sort of not do it because uh, I, we, have to, we have to write the season finale and the season end, end episode. So I just we thought that maybe the time would work out. Directing is really a luxury, and showrunners really traditionally don't have any business directing episodes. Just we were in such good shape for 15, I jumped in and, and wrote it and did it. And, and Jeff, it's, it's good. Well, something that was on our minds, obviously, episode 19, and we're hearing it's a little dreamy, and we're wondering what you can tease about episode 19. <laughs> uh, I think that, you know, traditionally, it's one where we step outside the box and do something a little bit more experimental, a little bit more adventurous, yeah. um, while making sure it's... it's true to the stories that we're telling in the season thematic development and I think that the season you know it, it, it's it's known that Henry and Cusick and Georgina Haig are in the episode they're spectacular we were unbelievably blessed to have them um, Henry Ian Cusick is a known talent she's less known but spectacular and uh, to tell you anything really about the story other than that it's very much epic in scope um, and contains several Easter eggs of its own would be to spoil it. Could you give us an episode title? <clears throat> <laughs> no. No, really. <laughs> Sorry. No, not yet. Had to try. Yeah, no. Soon. But now that you asked first, when we can, we're going to let you have it. Excellent. Is that fair? <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Nobody else asked. So. so, there's some debate amongst the French community about Peter's state of mind because some believe that he's in the right universe except he was written out. Others believe he's in the wrong universe and he needs to get back to where he went. So can you settle the debate? The next episode will, will settle the Yeah, the next episode will definitely lay out the track for the future and actually answer that question. So you don't have long to wait. It's like, oh, <laughs> Five <right>. days. <laughs> but but I've, I've seen that debate raging. And yes. um, it's interesting. You know, I, I... What do you think? Yeah. You know, I know. I, I think he's in the right universe, which is infuriating. Because that's what I keep trying to explain, but I was hoping you... <laughs> You know, when, you know when we just say you're yes, right? Yes. What's your name? Val uh, Eric from TV Equal. Eric is right. That's what you want us to say. Yeah. Well, we'll Eric know Friday. Right. You'll know Friday, and then you can put the headline, Fringe showrunners say, either you're right or wrong. You just have to wait for your All right. line. That's, that's fair. Yeah. But, uh, but I will tell you, with all sincerity, that as soon as the answer is revealed, it, we've been saying it all yeah. along. The, yeah. the, we, the show has not been lying. The show has not been trying to play the right. debate. The show has actually been very sincere right. about the truth. and Because we hate shows that do that. Yeah. It, it, we, <laughs> haven't, we, haven't been, we haven't been toying with people. We haven't no. been like manufacturing a story. So, so I'm right. You may be right. <laughs> <laughs> we are, you may very well think that. But we can't. We can't. We can't say. Is there any concern about what this does to the Peter and Olivia relationship? I know you guys are very vocal champions of them. Yeah. But if they're in the right universe, Peter just rejected him, her and told her that he didn't believe it was her. Yeah. And if he was right and needs to go find her, then he fell for the wrong God, Olivia this again. This is an exhausting conversation. <laughs> yeah, but, but, you know, that's the whole thing is that, you know, it's... The whole series is about, you know, sort of choices and, and, and impact and how you impact others. For us, there's a couple of really big things about that exact issue is that, number one, is people start to really care for this version of Olivia, which is amazing. And, and it just shows us that, you know, like when we went over to the other side, I was like, I'm never going to like these people. And then they loved them, you know, and bit by bit they fell in love with them like we were in love with them. So, you know, with this Olivia and the relationship, it's very difficult. It's such a love story to actually be right next to, you know, a woman that you that you absolutely know you're right for, but it's not her. And how much that hurts and how much, you know, how much that's, that's hard to, to be around. Um, everybody sort of, like, feels really bad for her. Because she recognizes and she believes it isn't Peter's ability that's making these things happen. You know, it's still, her heart's getting torn up too. So that's the nice drama that we really love. So, you know, we're glad that people are feeling that. And then in this next episode, also, you're going to find out a lot about that. And, 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 and if, if it is Peter, if it is Peter's ideas, if it is Peter's abilities, if it is, you know, her abilities, you don't know yet. So that's going to that's gonna be answered. So what I'm hearing is season five, right? Hopefully. You never know. You know. Hopefully. We're incredibly hopeful. Yeah. yeah. My my esteemed partner is much more vocal than I am. I, I honestly You're believe, hopeful too. I'm hopeful, but but I I've I've actually I 
I'm at the point where it's like, look, all I can do is do our, we are going to do our job. And if they, if they do that to us, then they do it. There's nothing, nothing we can do.